Hey everybody, it's Nathan Seelove, and welcome to Factually Biased. I am recording this at my work in between time that I am working because I was very busy this weekend. I wasn't able to record a video because I was at a conference all weekend, so that's why I'm doing this on my phone again. Um, but I'd like to talk about the national emergency that Trump has declared over immigration. Um, I already did a video about why the wall itself is counterproductive on every level. Uh, the highlights is basically that there is no national emergency, there is no influx of immigration, uh, of undocumented immigration. The number of undocumented immigrants crossing the border has actually been going down. Um, plus, an increase in border security historically results in a greater number of undocumented immigrants in, a, in the country because it reduces circular migration. So as it stands, the wall itself is already just bad policy. Now we have an added layer of Trump declaring a national emergency over this. And what he's trying to do is play his base for suckers. I mean, during the actual announcement, he said, by the way, uh, I don't actually have to do this. I'm just doing it so I can try to get it done faster. Like, you don't declare a national emergency and then say, oh, well, I don't need to be doing this. That's, like, the least you could do is believe your own lies. And then he went to Mar-a-Lago and golfed all weekend. Like, if there's, an, if there's a national emergency going on, you don't just, like, that's, it's ridiculous. So what he's doing, clearly, is... He is trying to appeal to his base. He is trying to convince his base that he is doing everything he can in order to get the wall built. And what's going to happen is that it is going to get challenged. In, it, it's already gotten challenged uh, by several states um, who is, have sued the president because they're saying this is unconstitutional. Uh, and what's going to happen is that they're going to be forced to produce evidence that it's actually a national emergency, to which there is none. There is no evidence of it being a national emergency, and they're not going to be able to present any evidence of being, it being a national emergency, and it's going to get struck down in the courts, and then Trump is going to get to go back to his base and say, well, I tried, but the court struck it down, so it's not my fault, it's the court's fault. At this point, he is completely playing his base for suckers. Um, the wall's not going to get built, and even if he was able to start the process through this national emergency, it would not be done by the time he was, uh, he would, by the end of his presidency, even if he is an eight year president, and the next president can easily just stop its construction. The wall is not going to happen. It was never going to happen. He knew it was never going to happen. It was just a selling point that he gave to his base in order to try to appeal to anti-immigration sentiment. So don't be a sucker. Review the facts. You're better than that. Well, that's today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, give it a like, a share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other material, and I will see you next week.